What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Loss, and in this video I'm going to be answering the most common question that I get in a lot of my videos and that is how do I play my mobile games on my computer because whenever I am recording they do see my, uh, my mouse, the little arrow right there and so people get curious about that all the time and before the way that I used to record my videos was, was through uh, my Elgato capture card but I feel like with playing my mobile games on the emulator either with uh, Nox Player, with Bluestacks or to one of my admins in my Discord server had, had uh, personally recommended was Memu Play. Um, I feel like they perform much better on my computer and uh, and graphics wise which I know <laughs> coming from coming from somebody who does play a lot of mobile games you know this might sound a little, a little ridiculous but from for playing it for a good long time between many mobile games that I've played in the past, uh, the graphics look much more sharper. They look so much more crispier, and that's why I would prefer to play them on my PC. So, uh, not only that though, I'm also going to be mentioning an app that I use because with my YouTube channel, a lot of people know that I do tend to play a few Japanese games, or at least a Japanese version of certain mobile games. So I'm going to be showing you guys real quick as well which app it is that you should download so that that way you can have access to any Japanese games. And then of course, to the end of the video I am going to uh, note a few things just to be aware so that that way you will not be surprised in the future and of course if you have any questions or concerns or if you're having trouble with anything you can always comment down in the comment section below this video and I will do my very best to get back to you as fast as possible now as always if you are new to the channel and you found this video helpful make sure to hit that subscribe button i'm trying to hit a goal of 5,000 subs for this year so it would be greatly appreciated if uh, you could help me out with that awesome awesome goal that i'm trying to hit because we recently recently did hit 3k subs so i'm trying to get to that big 5-0 before uh, 2020. so let's go ahead and jump into it guys the emulators that i use personally all the time either when it comes to my videos or when it comes to just me playing the game would have to be Nox player and or blue stacks it really just depends on which one works because there are certain times where some games will not work on one emulator but it'll work on the other and again uh one of my admins did recommend memu play as well as a third option in case like say blue stacks or nox player does not work for you so and i personally have not tried this emulator out so i can't really vouch for it for sure but again it, you know it's an uh, it's a third option for you to have and i will link all three of these sites down in the description below and it's really really easy the installation is super easy it is not complicated at all of course you got to make sure that um you want to see that a that the emulators will or your pc excuse me will be strong enough to handle the android emulator so definitely make sure to check that out now one thing between both um blue stacks and memo if i'm not mistaken is that with uh nox player you can also there is also a mac version of this so if you're playing on a mac and you are wanting to play uh your mobile games on your mac you can download nox player so um real quick i'm going to show you guys uh how the actual emulators looks like this is nox player right here this is nox player 6.2.7.0 and you can see right there guys i'm going to double check and make sure i'm going to mute the volume to the game because uh, i don't want it to go through the actual video real quick and it is muted so that is a good thing <laughs> so i'm going to show you guys some examples right here so you're going to see some of the mobile games that i have right now on nox specifically would be like Dokken battle i do have kingdom hearts union cause which is the japanese version and the english version uh the city of omnia and Dokken battle in the japanese version epic 7 and ffrk and that's just a random uh recommendation app that nox player recommends uh, every time that you open the actual emulator so let's take example if i wanted to open up um let's say Dokken battle if i wanted to open up Dokken battle you're gonna see right there it's gonna start loading up and if i want to load up bam look at that easy simple all you have to do is of course you have to sign in onto your google because this is android based so you have to sign in or make a google account then you'll be you will be able to download the actual game itself um within the google app store so if take example if we go to the google app store bam let's say you wanted to search up uh i don't know uh let's go with king's ray the recommended one 
you can uh, open that up and it'll show up you install and then bam easy so i'm gonna not install that because i don't <laughs> i do not want that game on uh on my emulator and it's simple as that guys it's really really easy now um same for blue sex right here it's no different from um from Nox Player itself, but of course the only games that I have here is Kingdom Hearts and New Cars, both a JP and a Japanese version. And the reason why I have these two is because again, there are some times where either the apps get an update to where it doesn't work on say Bluestacks or Nox Player, and I wanna make sure that I have a backup in case you know one doesn't work but the other one does. So you can see, take an example right here, we're gonna open up Kingdom Hearts and New Cars, and bam, it is opening up just fine. So that's another example of how Bluestacks or Nox works flawlessly, at least for myself. Now, one thing that I did mention earlier was the fact that I was able to play some Japanese games. As you can see right there, we have the Japanese version of Dokken Battle, the Japanese version of Kitamonchi New Cars. Uh, I would have the Japanese version of the City Opera Omnia, but I prefer to play it on my mobile device. Uh, so it's really easy, guys. It's actually not that hard, especially on an Android, because on, I know on Apple devices, like on the actual devices itself, it can be a pain in the butt to actually get around because you would have to create an, a, uh, an a, a Japanese Apple account and then do all that and blah, blah, blah. It's, it would be a pain. So that's why em emulators are the best to go and especially on the Androids. When it comes to playing uh, mobile games from another country, it's so much easier. But if you are wanting to play any mobile games, you would have to download this app right here, which is called Koo App. Koo App gives you access to download any Japanese game and it is amazing you can see right there you can download any Japanese game that you desire now the way to actually be able to grab uh, Koo app and install it onto Nox. It's super simple guys. All you got to do is go onto your browser Whatever browser that is provided within any emulator that you download uh, Go on to Google and then just search up Koo app We go on there and actually let's type in download Koo app uh, APK just to make it uh, 10 times easier and we find a quick little uh, site that does have it so we're gonna click on uptime and then BAM get the latest version you download that you install it and then BAM you have access to any Japanese mobile game that you wish so that's pretty much it for the video guys uh, one big thing that I do want to know and I want to really push this is that again sometimes some games will not work on it and then some games will work on certain emulators so you're gonna have to play around with it you're gonna have to see which ones actually does work out for you and then of course when you are transferring uh your game data your account over to bluestacks or nox player or any emulator make sure that you have your account backed up because if you lose it I am not responsible for it, <laughs> so I would rather not get any messages as to what in the world happened to to my account data or anything like that. So that's just like a fair warning uh, to you guys to make sure to back up any information, any account that is for whatever mobile game it is that you play, so that that way you won't lose anything. But other than that though guys, though, if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, uh, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, help me out to get to that 5k by the end of uh, 2019. And then of course, if you have any questions or anything related to uh, emu you know, the emulators or anything like that, just let me know in the comment section below and again, I will answer your questions as fast as possible thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one